The city of Honolulu is taking action over Ala Moana Center's rusty railings. The Department of Planning and Permitting issued a notice of violation today to the mall. This includes the railing that gave way on Sunday night in the Ho'okipa Terrace area. One man fell to his death and another was critically injured. Alexander Zanes takes a look ahead to what's next. Alexander? Joe, right now business owners are responsible to check railings on their own after they are installed. I asked lawmakers tonight if that needs to change. The City Department of Planning and Permitting issued a notice of violation to Ala Moana Center today requiring them to fix any rusted or deteriorating railings. Ala Moana has 30 days to apply for a building permit or face a $100 fine and $100 a day until they do. Tonight I asked lawmakers if they thought legislation should be introduced to change the way railings in public and private buildings are inspected. Maybe, but you'd think that the owners would want to check without there having to be a law. But maybe we have to put in rules that say how often you have to check. It's hard to tell because in, in wet areas, maybe you have to check more often, you know, because of the rust. We still need to get to the bottom of, of what happened and kind of discuss with DPP from the council's perspective as to what their thoughts are on whether or not um, the current regulations are, are sufficient. Um, you know, if landowners are following the rules today and, and they uh, are not resulting in um, safe conditions, then, then we, need to, we need to really look at it and um, have that discussion. The general manager of the mall issued a statement this afternoon saying, Ala Moana Center will comply with all requirements as indicated in the notice in a timely manner. A structural engineering firm has already begun an additional assessment of all railings on property. As previously stated, all necessary repairs will be made. And the city says it didn't inspect all of the railings in the mall, just the ones in the area where the railing came down. If you do see any railings that look rusted or damaged, contact the Department of Planning and Permitting. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.